Hey there everybody, it's Lance with Love to Hate, back again with another unboxing video. This time I have The Goonies Never Say Die from Funko Games and Prospero Hall. This is a new game that's just been released at Target. Out of all the recent unboxing videos that I've done of the ones from Target, including uh, Terraforming Mars, Ares Expansion, and uh, Summer Camp, the Goonies here has definitely been the hardest one for me to get a hold of. It is a hot commodity right now. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this, show you what's inside of this. I will show you the back cover here real quickly. Uh, it says, the Goonies never say die. It is our time down here. Embark on a perilous adventure full of dangerous booby traps and treacherous treasure-filled caverns. One player is the Goondocks Master, controlling fearsome foes from the outlaw family, the Fratellis, to the legendary pirate One-Eyed Willie. The other players take on the role of the Goonies, Mikey, Mouth, Chunk, Data, and Sloth, overcoming cryptic puzzles and deadly challenges with teamwork, strategy, and Data's clever contraptions. Will the Goonies discover the legendary riches that save their homes, or will they follow the fate of Chester Copperpot and never see the light of day? All right, and this does include eight miniatures right there. Uh, it is for ages 12 and up, two to five players, 50 minutes. And uh, in case if you're wondering, it is sealed by those circular uh, sticky tack uh, clear labels stickers there on all four sides which uh, are kind of difficult to get off the box here so i'm going to take this off frame open it up and bring it back in one second all right so i was able to get all four of those labels off without any stickiness residue left over which is nice so i'm going to go ahead and open this up show you guys what's inside of here this box is a bit of a tight fit it's not coming off easily there we go all right, so the first thing I see here looks to be the game board, and it is wrapped in plastic there. I'll take that off here in a second, but it says, Do you realize the next time you'll see Sky, it'll be over another town? The next time you take a test, it'll be in some other school? Our parents, they want the best of stuff for us, but right now, they got to do what's right for them because it's their time, their time. Up there, down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. Mike, Mikey, Walsh. And I will go ahead and open this up. All right, so I want to let you guys see a better look there of the board. And this is a uh, pretty big board. I don't know that I'm going to be able to fit it all on frame here. As you can see, that's only half of it. There is the other half there of the town. And uh, what it looks like fully opened up is it looks sort of like that and again i apologize for not being able to get all of this on frame uh, it's just a very large board here and uh, it looks like we have different crypt areas uh, of the different caverns that you explore as they did in the movie so i'm going to set that off to the side we're going to explore what else is in this box here uh, looks like we have a treasure map there of sorts Mar mardel zur and on the back side of this, uh, this is actually going to be a shield, it looks like. And this is for the Goondocks Master. Uh, this is the Goondocks Master reference board here, uh, as they are going to control all the bad characters in the game. And such as the Fratellis, uh, One-Eyed Willy, and maybe some other things throughout the game. Uh, we have an adventure guide here for the Goondocks Master. Goondocks Master's Eye Only. So this is going to be their rule book, depending on what adventure you're going to play. And so there are several different adventures, such as Dead Things. That's adventure number four there. And it looks like we have nine different adventures in the base game here, including an epilogue and maybe a prologue. Oh, no, just an epilogue. And, and instructions on how to use this guide. So there you go. And we have instructions for the game in general. And so let you guys take a quick look at what this rule book looks like here. And it looks to be about 15 pages or so. So not too thick. 
and an FAQ in the back of the book, including uh, the Michelangelo um, statue there. And it looks like we have some punch out boards wrapped in plastic. So let me go ahead and open these up and give you an idea of the quality of these tokens. I think the statue's actually David, not Michelangelo. I apologize for my unintelligence when it comes to art. Uh, okay, so our tokens here do come out nice and easy. Uh, they are fairly thick and good quality with nice artwork on the front and backs of them. So that is nice to know. You get one, two, three, four different punch boards for you to punch out there. For those of you that like to keep track of that sort of thing. Uh, we do have some player boards wrapped in plastic. So let me go ahead and open these off frame. All right, so we've got Mikey, Mouth, Chunk, Data, Sloth, The Fratellis, one-Eyed Willie, and Giant Octopus. That's interesting. And again, these are, uh, these are cardboard, not flimsy paper. Uh, very thick and durable, it appears to be. We do have some cards. Let me open those up. All right, so the first thing to take note is, is that uh, we have a player aid for the Goonies round. Looks like you get uh, four of those. And uh, real quick on the card quality here. Um, the cards are fairly thick. Uh, they are slick, so they're probably gonna slide across the table. Um, no linen finish here or anything of that nature. Uh, but, you know, it's to be expected for this kind of game. Uh, mass market on target shelves kind of game. Uh, and we have on the back side here, wish tokens, uh, an explanation of what those do and end of round description. So. Very nice that that is included. Uh, some of our other cards in this game, the artwork here looks to cover about the top half of the card with explanation as far as what those cards do on the other side. And uh, the artwork is all original or uh, new artwork, not anything from the movie it appears to be, which is nice. So there we go. And some other cards here. Uh, the Fratellis are going to show up on some of these cards. Very nice. Let's take a look at what the back sides here look like. So GM for the Goondocks Master. Not the Game Master necessarily, the Goondocks Master. And uh, this whole deck is actually going to be for the Goondocks Master. So very nice. Let's see what else we have here. We have a smaller deck of cards. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so again, same sort of quality on these cards here. Um, and this is just mostly text on these cards, not a whole lot of art, although there is some. And these look to be like items, perhaps. These may be the items that uh, the data uses, for, for instance, but it also looks to be some of the other characters as well and event cards maybe, or enemy cards. Um, here, let's take a look at what's on the back side of these. Um, teamwork, mouth. Okay, so yeah, definitely some of these cards go with certain players, One-Eyed Willy, Giant Octopus, that sort of thing. Uh, let you keep looking at some of the other ones here. One-use cards. So these are definitely items. Yeah, item cards. There you go. My wish, there's a coin into the fountain there. Very nice. So again, these items are definitely thematic with the movie. If you are a fan of the movie, a lot of this will make sense to you. Even if you aren't, I'm sure that it's not too far of a stretch of the mind to figure out what's going on with these items here. If you've never seen the movie, definitely go and watch it. The Goonies is an awesome 80s flick. And some riddles. I'm not going to show you the riddles. There you go. I don't know that that's a spoiler, folks. I don't think it necessarily is. Um, and then peril cards there as well. 
We'll have to uh, get further into this game to know exactly how the riddles work. All right, we do have some other components. We have some dice, so let me go ahead and show you that. Looks like we have several dice, actually. These are D6s um, that are red and custom. Uh, this is see-through, uh, clear with some bones on them and a uh, skull. Looks to be that all three of those are the same there. Uh, we have them in, this is a D8. And again, this is clear with some crossbones, bones, and a skull there. So very nice. You get three of those as well. We have some, what is this, a D12? that are clear as well. And these are good quality dice. This is etched in and painted in, uh, not screen printed or anything. So good quality dice there. And then we do have the miniatures that I mentioned. So let's go ahead and get some of these out here. And we'll show you the fertility, fertility, excuse me, for Tully's first, and I'm going to get that a little bit closer to the camera so you can see it. Uh, you know, it's decent uh, sculpt there. This is pretty flimsy. It does bend. I'm sure it would break if I bent it far enough. So you may have to take special care with this. Although, you know, I don't think the sword is going to break. Um, so, you know, good detail there. Don't know that it's fantastic for painting if you wanted to paint this, but it is what it is. And let's see what else we have here. I'll show you guys. So there's Sloth. And he's definitely more durable than the Fratellis are, although his base is a little bendy there. Uh, so there's that. But uh, he's definitely more dense, which makes sense. I mean, look at him. He is sloth after all. And let's see what else we got here. I'll show you uh, one of the kids real quick. And so I think that's Mikey, maybe. He's got the map. And again, all the bases are a little flimsy. They might bend a little bit. Um, I can imagine that some of them might come bent and you'll have to maybe uh, heat them up a little bit to move them in the right direction. So there you go. And then last but not least, it looks like we have one other bag of maybe some sort of... Oh, these are standees. Okay, so you've got some standees in here, just generic brown standees. Uh for maybe the items. I'm not exactly sure what that will be for. But there you go. That's what you have. I'll let you take a look at the insert. You do get some baggies in the box there. And that is that. This insert is uh, cardboard. It is pretty thick, though, so it's pretty durable. And that is that. That's the Goonies Never Say Die. We will be doing some other videos on this, um, possibly a playthrough. Definitely a review in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. The Goonies Never Say Die. It's available at Target from Funko Games and Prospero Hall. All right, I'm Lance, and this is Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.